Since going over major indices, here we have S&P 500 starting to climb. Nasdaq, Nasdaq is also climbing. Before it was trapped below that 200 moving average, now it's got up above. So there's strength coming back into tech. Diamonds next. Diamonds are also performing nicely. Russell 2000. It's been a sideways pattern, but we're still establishing higher lows. And transports are still looking fine. It was able to recapture that 200 moving average on the daily chart. Taking a quick look, XLF, we also have a very strong move to the upside. I was looking at Goldman. This is how I identify potential setups. Now this one, we just have to wait because it's gone up so much, but we do have some retracements at these three different areas. They're very similar to one another. I'm gonna use these as symmetry support going to start mapping them out using my Fibonacci extensions. First price relationship, second price, and then find a third. So we got to be patient with this. We got to make sure that price comes back into this area and see if we can get a bounce out of this. If we're not going to get a bounce, this is not going to start pulling back from that area. There's something to be done on that chart. We do have a 236 that is in confluence with the symmetry support work that we just did. On the hourly chart, price is gonna have to come back in here, but as you can see, once it does that, it's gonna be below that 200 moving average on the hourly. So this one's gotta be patient, make sure that it comes back in here. From here, let's see if we can get a bounce out of here. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now, hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area and I'll talk to you soon.